I started learning coding myself in the 70s as a boy, but I started teaching it when Scratch from MIT was still in its infancy. And it wasn't bad. I liked the block builder interface, but I knew something was missing. It wasn't really quite replicating what true code looks like. And I began a Google search just for fun to see what else I could have for one child who's accelerated. And it was here that I had the happy accident actually of discovering CodeMonkey. I started to play with it, realized, hey, this looks like real script, and in fact it is based on JavaScript, just as if you were writing a sentence on a page. You have to know in what order you're going to put the words. So it is with CodeMonkey. You have to actually, for lack of a better word, find your own eloquence, find your own voice in terms of writing code instead of using preformatted blocks. I adore that. And I can't help but argue that, yeah, the monkey's cute. It really has a nice uh, response. It's very non-threatening. I found it very approachable. I like that CodeMonkey also lays out the task at hand so that in a very gentle, user-friendly format, you can start with the baby steps, write out your code bit by bit so that you're building a foundation very strongly. But make no mistake, you're doing your own work. Anyone who writes coding knows that it's teaching discipline of thought and metacognition or thinking about thinking. So you're not just learning a technical skill which is valuable, but you're learning how to think. You're learning how to order your thoughts. So basically coding not only is teaching a skill that we need, but it's enriching all academic disciplines, not just the obvious STEM related ones. Uh, there is one other thing to consider about CodeMonkey and teaching coding to special needs students, and that's never underestimate them. I had one student who came from a deeply troubled background. He's in high school now. We helped ignite an interest in coding in him long before I even heard of CodeMonkey. As of now, he's taught himself C++ programming. He's brilliant at it. And he's going to continue to move on. Why mention this? Coding feeds into the needs of a special need child, the needs to order their thoughts, the needs to see direct results of their work. And it could lead to great things, just as it did with that one boy who now knows more about object-oriented programming than I can teach him. Please know that our special needs kids have their own brilliance, they're not to be underestimated, and coding is giving them the discipline they need to excel in this area and in others.